time. It's time, dude. It's time to clear this desk off. If we don't do this, your creative growth is in jeopardy. Wow. For years, Ren has been working off of a janky old door desk. He's got all these really cool props and gadgets and things like that that he needs that he likes to keep on his desk, but I really just cannot stand the cable management, the way that it's a door that's propped up on metal pieces really gets to me. We're going to make the ultimate renderized desk, a modded desk built specifically for Ren. I'm, I'm warming up to the idea, but it's just gonna, it's gonna take a minute because I gotta like clean all the stuff up. You know what's faster than a minute? A cut in this epic. That was easy. <laughs> but what Jake is annoyed by, flagrant use of, okay, that's, that's for the light. Yeah, this is for the aperture light. Can't wrap his mind around, right? It's this, these things here. My desk is C-clamped. Two legs. In fact, the legs are the C-clamp. Yep, that, yeah, that's, this is where our clamps went. He's in love with this thing. I mean, everything from the history of it, to the work that he's already put into it, to the man hours just spent making cool stuff on this surface. So we're gonna preserve that. You might remember last year I built him this huge electric skateboard that was super fun and he likes to ride his one wheel all the time. We're gonna incorporate both a place for the electric skateboard and a place for the one wheel in here. In addition, Ren has a three monitor setup and is often working off of two computers. So there's gonna be plenty of room for that, plenty of room for building, plenty of room for gadgets, and we're gonna maintain the historical sentimental significance of this here desk. I'll stain it all, I'll give it a fresh stain and a fresh coat of varnish and finish so it will all look like it's one piece and the first thing that I have to do is sand it all down. <laughs> Let me try it. let me put on my hat. What do you guys think of this hat? Do you like it? Because if you do, we'll sell it. It's not out yet. Don't go running off to the store just yet. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Friday's video. We're shooting a video. It's gonna involve Adrian, it's gonna involve Nico, it's gonna involve our friend Freddy. Coming off of the Rot production, Adrian and Nico wanted to do something that was a little bit more fun, a little bit more humorous. So they came up with this ridiculous idea about how there's two cops in a fight. They need to do the most ridiculous extreme reloads to take out all the bad guys. It's very important that both Nico and Adrian work together to come up with the best way to shoot those sequences because that's gonna make the whole piece hit home. If they are unable to work together on this, it's gonna make the video fall flat. Grab some pistols, let's go outside. Here. Here's, here's an outline. There's a girl tied up, like Freddy's standing there, he's like, we only have five seconds, they're coming! He's like, bang, bang, bang on the door. Just give me a moment, I'm trying to do the ropes. And the person in the chair, like, like panicking. And the door picks open, like some goons come in. Both of them are just like, <laughs> Like a dude there, a dude there, a dude there, the same dude each time. Bang, bang, bang. Freddy's gun locks back. He's like, empty! And I'm like, Doosh. empty! Then Freddy goes, <laughs> or like does that, he like he puts his gun up, and like then I go like, doo, doo, sh, doo, 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 to shoot a guy. And then he looks over at the hostage, just like, she's like, he's into that. More guys come like running in. We fight those guys, and this time when Freddy's empty, he does a, like a fancy reload, and I'm like, Oh yeah, so that's how it's gonna be. Kind of like an elevating game of horse, where we're on the same side. Instead of opposing. Instead of opposing. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Today for shot, I would have be a shot that sets up the pressure. Banging on the door. So the goons are even closer, even more present. Then the second shot, I would have be the first character introduction, which would probably be me. And about me, you see who you're dealing with, you see they have a gun out, you see I'm nervous, you see I'm sweating, you see I'm a cop. Close, but I feel like the first, the very opening shot, we need to do something that hooks them, like, that's super cool. So I was imagining you sliding into frame, and then you finishing, like, two guys who are already in there, and then Freddy's already, you know, reloading, maybe. You know, I just want the first, the first opening to be, like, as if you're coming into the action sequence and you've missed, like, the first half. We are now entering phase two of Ren's epic desk build, and today we're gonna pick up some hardware so that we can fit the world's largest electric skateboard on the front of it. I'm gonna put the board itself like at an angle. Yeah. An angle in That's there. Right. The oh. thing is that how wide is the board? I'd have to go. Yeah, you well, I'm going to into it. A, I'm going into a desk that I made out of doors. Gotcha. <clears throat> All 
All right, uh, you remember how I was worried about the sides of the desk being a little wobbly? Well, yeah. Well, that what isn't is a problem whatsoever at all. Did you get that off of a boat? Dude, this thing's got great bones. Check it, check this out. Feel how solid this is. Oh, wow. That's this is so sturdy. Don't, don't, don't like jump on it with it's all your like weight. It's like Hurricane but. Force desk. Ren, I'm serious, don't. Is that, this is the bones, all right? Let's, let's, let's flip it upright, and I want to talk about what to do with it next because I realized something. There is no chance of this desk looking pretty. I trusted you, Jake. But don't worry, Ren. You're pretty enough to make up for the ugly desk, and we're gonna go straight for function. Okay? Just crazy kids. We're gonna rename the title of this video to be Ren's Extremely Functional Desk Mod. It has all, look at all this room in the middle. I eliminated the problem of, of sink in the middle by adding this support beam. Great. You know how I used to bow in the middle? Yeah. That's, that's a problem of the past, my friend. Oh, cool. Your knees aren't gonna hit it. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna run, just for you, surge protectors. You only need to deal with two outlets at the base of the desk. So, you're, you, so it's gonna be super easy to take things on and off your desk without having to fumble around on the ground, mess with cables. And then up here, underneath right here, will be our cable management. It's gonna be sick, dude. How I originally embraced the fact that the electric skateboard, the world's largest electric skateboard, was gonna be ugly and not functional. Over time, it became beautiful and functional. We're doing the opposite here, okay? It's becoming more functional, but the more function we have, the less beauty we have. You can see that electric skateboard video Link Just below. link below. Jake, when you started this, you promised me it would look pretty. You pinky promised it would look pretty. <gasps> Beauty, right. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, my friend. I don't want to tell you because I did not break my promise. It's gonna be so functional, it's gonna be a thing of beauty. Remember those days when you used to shoot like stupid moves to your friends after school? Like, this is it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no! I should just like, take a second and be like, okay, she's looking. It's, where is he getting the mags from? The dead body. <laughs> Flips it. Yeah, I like to stick my hand in here. Yeah, yeah. So like, you block it. <clears throat> like no. Let me spin around. And like I grab a mag. Yeah. <laughs> and I like then like squirt this out. And I go reload. <laughs> <laughs> His hand gets in the way. He's like, come on. You can even have it where like, I end up with both mags and he has a gun and I'm just going like. Duh, 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 duh. And he's like constantly like, trying to like. <laughs> Figured out the reloads, which is the most challenging part of this. I've broken down like action into bite-sized little chunks so many times now that like that's not really something that's hard for me. But the creative aspect of this stuff is really the, the true challenge, which is after my crazy reload, how does Freddy have an even crazier reload? What can he do that's special? When we have the guy with the rifle and we run up to him and we try to reload his rifle, what can we do with him that's special? Like or another great example is when Freddy and I start struggling over the gun. Like doing the whole like trying to jam the mag in and like constantly blocking and dodging. Like that's getting creative in the moment and that stuff's really important to come up with. on the other side of this fucking concrete. <sighs> <sighs> oh snap, you're drilling through that one? Mm -hmm. Drilling through that one? What are you guys making? A desk. This is Ren's highly functional desk mod. You ready? Scary. That was dumb. Usually you hold on to the drill when you uh <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> when you do that. I need eye protection. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't holding on to it. I was focused more on how it was drilling than I was on the drill itself. Well kid, you made the sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> so the key to a good cut is that you do it from both sides. And hang on. And hang on. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not looking. I can't even see it. All the stuff is behind the monitors. Don't look. Don't look. Ready? Ren's highly functional desk mod is now complete. Ren, if you could join me. Yeah, dude. Having a, having a 
a giant skateboard as the back of your desk is like the coolest thing. Uh, well, actually, you'll, when you store it, you'll have to flip it the other way because the walkway to the camera room is right here, but just for, for looks, I have the wheels hanging out. What, what do you mean store it the other way? But, what? Well, it works better that way. But it looks worse. That's pretty nice. Check this out. Here's my, one of my favorite features. Okay, you like to pull in in the morning on your one wheel? Well, guess what? Got that charger ready for you right there. All right, <laughs> all right. That's my kind of parking spot. Mm -hmm. Pretty right. nifty. That's super nifty. So you got power strip here and power strip here. I'm gonna replace that green cable. It's still industrial and you don't have to worry about keeping it nice. You can just do whatever you gotta do. Desk is complete. I think it turned out wonderfully. Let me show you guys what I did. First and foremost, Ren said he liked a smooth surface here on the top, so I just sanded everything down really nicely. After I found out that the stain wasn't really gonna take, I wanted to go for just the complete industrial look, and I think that really comes through with the sanding that I did here. I was also able to preserve the Omega symbol, which is one of uh, the things that Ren liked about the desk. I decided not to replace this monitor stand because, well, it was well built and it was working fine. So Next thing that I did, I used Carmichael's old door desk to make the actual feet of the desk itself. Now, when I first put those on, it was a little wobbly, so I went ahead and I put brackets here to help stabilize the legs. In addition, I included a large cross beam that goes from one leg to the other. This does a couple things. Number one, it stabilizes the sides, and then number two, it prevents the desk from bowing when there's a lot of weight in the middle. I included an electrical hole here for the one wheel charger. Included two different surge protectors, one on each side of the desk. Now, in order to make it as simple as possible, I connected the surge protectors together, which I know is kind of a surge protector for faux pas, but we're running surge protectors into a battery protector, which goes into a closed circuit. So I think it's gonna be just fine. Now he only has to worry about unplugging one cable when he wants to move the desk. Then obviously I included hooks for the electric skateboard which makes it real easy to take off and put back on so you can actually use it however much you want. I included monitor holes here which go straight down and then over to either side so you can connect any electrical that you have up top here. So anyway, I think we made great use of parts that we already had here. We made the thing more sturdy, it's way more efficient, it's built for what Ren actually does rather than using the old C clamps that we were using previously, which obviously were super janky. Is the so the point of the giant board is that this desk could in theory be, What's the point of the giant you could do it on the road? Is that the idea? Uh, Ren just loves his electric skateboards. So it's just and a so super huge one. Jake built him the world's biggest. <laughs> Alright, let's go get to work, Andrew. Yes, we got important things to do. Yes, we have important things to do. I can't be distracted by this fascinating desk <laughs> apparatus. The pitch deck is done. Yes, I thought it was fantastic. For the what? The beast. The beast. You wanna know what I think the worst thing is the internet's doing to people right now? It's leading everybody to believe that everybody else is an idiot. Especially people that disagree with them. Everybody's first reaction to somebody that disagrees with them is like, oh, you're an idiot. It's like, actually, the vast majority of people aren't idiots. They just either are coming from a different background, have a different belief system, have different reasons, have different, like, it's a whole variety of things. Assuming that somebody else is an idiot, especially when they're professional in their field, is like the worst mistake one person can make. And if everybody stopped just immediately claiming everybody else is an idiot, I think the world would be a better place. Eliza now picks which songs she likes to listen uh -oh. to on YouTube, and when she doesn't like a song, she goes, <laughs> and so I go, fine, and I flip the song to another one today, and then she goes, fine. She started uh -oh. walking around going, fine. Uh-oh. Dude, you're teaching her <laughs> Jake's attitude. getting a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> I know.